I call if it. If that person uh, backs yes. off and start to squirm uh -huh. and weasel away or try to create a new topic yes. to this, and instead of the, uh, responding to your questions, your uh -huh. inquiry of why, that's the time when you start smelling something wrong. In other words, something not right. In a dialogue, you can right. always find the truth through uh, a process of question and answer. That's right. And, and, and you can't just rely on somebody who's telling you that they did a scientific Correct. experiment in a laboratory. That's you right. can't just rely on somebody's uh, talk about their experiences personally. Exactly. Uh, what you have to do is you have to dis de define the truth. You have to find the yes. truth through uh, a, a process of I would call question. I would call question and answer, or even deeper mm -hmm. than that, uh, a, right. a dialectical analysis uh, based on two perceptions mm -hmm. of reality that yes. coalesce and correspond to the mm -hmm. uh, bipolar nature of the universe. Do, do we not live in a, a positive and negative reality? Do we not live in a world of good and evil? Do we not live in a world of, of, of right and wrong? Yes, mm -hmm. we do. The, because You know why? Because you need mm -hmm. uh, uh, those two uh, uh, alternative uh, forces in order to generate life itself. That's right. You need a, a dynamo. You need That's a right. generator. of uh, yes. uh, Just like you generate electricity using a, a plus and minus, uh, uh, you know, opposite uh, magnetic fields. Okay? Right. You have to have that in order to, to generate uh, uh, energy. And, 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 and you know what? It works in human consciousness as well. You need uh, opposing views and, and maybe conflicting or maybe um, uh, questioning, as you said, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 points of view in order to create uh, 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 truth Correct. and understanding. That's right. And, and this is why the Socratic method is the only method to find out whether or not you're being lied to, manipulated, filled with propaganda, or whether your entire universe is one of slavery and oppression. Yes. Totally agree. Is that what your child learned today in school? Is that what you is, is that what we no. were told today in the newspaper? Is yes. that what we saw on the internet lately? Were we uh, 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 in, uh, suggested to us that we should, um, you know, uh, question I'm, everything that we say? We were. We have been conditioned. Yeah. yeah. Did not you get yeah, question? Yeah. Oh, we were conditioned not to question. We've been conditioned not to do that process. That's right. And why That's is that? Right. Because. There must be some form of orders out there uh -huh. who has set up such conditions uh -huh. through many, many successive generations to right. conditions us to behave uh -huh. that way. Is that a form of slavery? It is a form of slavery. Are those intellectual chains? Yes. Are they binding our minds and preventing us from finding the truth because they don't want us to think in a dialectical questioning way? They don't want us to examine our reality at all. They want us only to believe what we've been indoctrinated to believe That's by right. various methods, mostly emotional. Because remember, your rational mind is your door to freedom. That's and right. your emotional mind... Uh, in many circumstances, I'm not saying all, but in some circumstances, yeah. are your is the pit, the pit of yes. despair, because yes. that's in where you. In fact, it may be, it may even be perceived as a form of an entrapment. Entrapment, exactly. You're that yes. down there in in a place where you you feel you have no escape, where you have no that's hope, right. where you might even commit suicide, where where you're yeah. you know you're so sad. And, and and your and your your emotions are, have been so uh, enslaved that that you're 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 just uh, I don't know you're not human anymore because a human is a creative being full of light right. and love 
and aspirations creativity. to be evolved to the highest levels of spirituality. That's right. That's right. Not in the part pit of, human, of in lovelessness. My, in my humble opinion, part of the traits of being a human mm -hmm. is the fact that we are a curious creature. Good. We have we have the hunger for higher knowledge and creativity. Yes. We're always on the quest for interesting we're always climbing that ladder we're climbing that ladder that's out of the pit of hopelessness that's right that's right you know but unfortunately those tr those fundamental traits of being a human yes has been somewhat suppressed for many in my opinion for many many generations absolutely that's right why because mm -hmm. certain something else out there doesn't want us to be curious well let's look at a king does a king does a king trade positions with a peasant uh yeah. after a certain period of time like yeah. you can be a king for two years like maybe we need a king maybe we need a control tower maybe we need somebody for the efficiency of society to uh to be giving a certain direction mm -hmm. like wisely okay mm -hmm. but does that king give up that position of control which might be efficient and for all the benefit of all that village or that town or that state or that country. Mm -hmm. do, do they give that up after a couple of years or a few years and then they say, okay, uh, next guy, come and get that experience and you do your job and I'll go back to be farmer. No. In other words, nope. they're not equal. They don't think they're equal. We are they don't compete. They think nope. themselves as controllers in a, uh, an, you know what it is? It's a dystopia. It's a dystopia. It is a dystopian society. It is. It's a it's a dystopian yes. world. And, where and, we and, live yeah. in and we have been conditioned just like the chicken in the coop, where we have been conditioned yes. over many, many generations where even though chickens were born with wings, yes. they don't know that they can fly. Yes. They, they, I mean, in fact, most of them won't even bother to flap their wings just yes. to try out. <laughs> now, now, some uh, viewers of our channel might say that uh, you and I have mentioned mm -hmm. this point many times in many different ways. That's right. And we have made right. many correlations to many different situations, both historically and factually and present day. Mm -hmm. But what's the point? What are we supposed to do about it? Okay, what's the actions that will lead to our freedoms? What what is the concrete steps that will create a, a constructive conclusion and and lead to our actual freedoms and actual uh, uh, independence? Well, it's been done before, many times. Uh, in the United States, they did a, a, a war of uh, independence, okay, yes. from their uh, feudal overlords. Yes. Okay, it's not a it's not a big problem here. There's been revolutions in many in many times in many places, you know, right? right? But you know that's revolution is what we're talking about here. You're yeah. not going to get away without some strife, without some change, without yeah. some exactly. huge transformation. You're not going to go anymore along that previous road. That's right. And if you think you are, if you think it's all going to be dancing and trollopsing in the tulips of your uh, cushy previous existence, which, which was provided you, for you, just like mm -hmm. a chicken gets their feed so they That's can right. pro they can produce the eggs that the uh, master farmer will take. Yeah. If you think it's going to be like that, you're wrong. And, and, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying about fear porn. I'm not saying about, uh, you know, uh, warnings. It's going to be bad. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful because you can do it today and you can do it uh, tomorrow and you can do it into the future. What you can do is you can change your mind. That's right. And that is just the beginning. Okay. But uh, you see, this is such a, this is such a complicated web 
that we live in. Yes, it is. Uh, sometimes it's candidly referred to as the matrix. Correct. That we live in where the dystopic society over the matter of many, many generations have conditioned us. Yes. Not to be curious, not to ask questions. Not, not look not look people. beyond that chicken wire. Don't look out Stay there. Put and be happy. Don't look up there. Okay. Yeah. But uh, as much as here's a good example I would like to share with you. Yes, sir. And that is as much as in the in, in the Asian culture, a lot of people actually uh, admire mm -hmm. and um, a, a, a philosoph philosophical scholar called uh, uh, Confucius. Please explain. Yes, uh, Confucius actually is a it's it's a debatable uh, character, meaning that okay. his philosophical point of view uh, in most Asians' eyes or may Asians' scholarly understanding yes. is deemed to be appropriate as well as being the good guidance yes. for the Asian civilizations for many thousands of years. It sounds like feudalism. Okay, yes. It, but in my mind, uh, it's, it is left to be debated because Confucius yes. um, is... Um, comes from a faction of philosophy mm -hmm. where, uh, in a brief translated summary, mm -hmm. it's equivalent to that says, okay, mm -hmm. so long as, okay, humanity can have all the freedom, happiness, and creativity mm -hmm. uh, within their own boundaries, mm -hmm. so long as you don't rise up, challenge, or even rebel against your masters your masters or aka back in those ancient time back in his ancient days yes uh, that would be the equivalent of the ancient chinese emperors correct absolutely okay? correct in fact he 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 made very strong proposition that you don't come up you don't rise up and challenge the authorities absolutely right so long as you don't do that you can stay happy, you can stay creative, you can be uh, any, uh -huh. anybody you want. It is a form of a slavery, if not at least a form of feudalism going on. Well, a lot of slaves are extremely uh, well taken care of. They're fed oh. well. Uh, example, a racehorse. A racehorse is uh, required to run in the races, uh, may, right. maybe twice or th three times a year, and um, they are uh, uh, in their in their stables. They are you know given the best of food, and That's they're right. uh, they're you know their their coats are stroked with brushes by That's their right. by their ma ma minders, and That's and you right. know and they go out and run that race, and they might make yeah. a couple million dollars for their owners That's right. if they win that race. And Correct. It, and, and, if only they win the race. But yeah. what if they didn't win the race? Well, then and... they get downgraded to the second tier, the third tier, That's or whatever. That's right. You and know, and eventually, yet, you know what? what what's going to happen to that horse in the end? It, it might get you know so failed that it will be turned into uh, uh, glue. Because that sure. that's what you do with the with the horse bones in in that's ancient right. times. Or it's, in the case where you fracture your hoof during one of the rays, mm -hmm. you'll be promptly taken down afterwards. Correct. In other words, your job, you no longer serve the purpose anymore. Well, if you broke so your leg, the master will put you down as a result. And that's shown in our media, in our movies, and so on as a, a mercy killing. That's right. That poor horse can't run anymore. It has That's to be right. shot in the that head. Gives, that gives the master an excuse or a reason to put you down. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, they use a euphemism, put you down, instead of murder the horse. That's right. 
Now, uh, is it is that anything different than our situation uh, when we deal with people who think that they are higher than us, but they're human, supposedly? Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> what gives them the right to tell us what to do and control us unequally? Well, that is a very, very good... Are we horses? Are we different? In fact, that would be that would be that ought to be the first questions. Are we physically different? No. You, are we common uh, folks yeah. that you and I look, look, look. ask? I'm going to stop you right. Those quote unquote so-called yeah. authorities. The point here is that the, 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 in the horse races, there's the masters and the and the horses, but there are different species. Right. You know, and are we right. different? Are physiologically no, we're human. Are we intellectually dumber? No. Are we spiritually lesser? No. In other words, it's unfair. Yes. Correct. But no. Why are we being treated that way? Yes. That why are we being treated be that way? Million dollar question, and that would be the kind of questions I would ask the authorities if I come face to face with them. And then I'll wait and see what sort of plausible yes. answers they would give me. Okay. Now let's get back to one of our earlier talk talks about um, um, in physics. You have sure. uh, you have um, inertia. Yes. If 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 something is traveling in a certain direction uh, with yes. a certain amount of mass behind it. Yes. Uh, yes. uh, that's uh, called a psychological idea. Okay, that's right. In other words, everybody believes something, and it's it's like a train on a track, and right. and it's difficult to divert or stop that train. Now, if you directly oppose right. it, it might cause a train wreck. That's right. Which, which will be deathly. Okay, but if you try to divert that track by switching the rails, yeah, into another direction, then yeah. the impetus or the inertia of that train will still carry on. But it'll right. carry on in a different direction. Right. Now, what if the horses suddenly had technology mm -hmm. from uh, higher up, or uh, you know, some sort of magical kingdom? Maybe the uh, unicorns came along. Mm -hmm. The unicorns, who are magical horses with higher powers, some of them even have wings. And they came along and said, we're not going to take this abuse of our horses anymore, of our fellow horses. Uh, they're our family. We're not mm -hmm. going to allow this. And you know what? We're going to fight back. And yeah. we're going we're gonna to take the entire uh, culture and we're going to misdirect it into a an, another direction where the uh horse breeders and the noble uh uh you know uh, kings lords dukes and lords are no longer in power well the inertia of that is that those dukes lords and might uh, might might be worrying about being killed mm -hmm. because that inertia has been uh redirected against them correct. correct now that kind of powerful physical uh reality is is unfortunate and and i and i don't want it to happen but in mm -hmm. physical reality you might have a backlash you might have mm -hmm. a, a revolutionary uh, uh attack against those yeah. who are oppressing and, yes. and you know what um it's, it's simple physics isn't it mm -hmm. that's right 